Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this Bugle Beads Blue Fairy bracelet. Really easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. Don't worry if you don't have these bugle beads, you could find them anywhere and they are not expensive and I have down there in description links where you could buy them from. Uh, if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I release matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and I'm going to make earrings matching this bracelet and I will be showing them soon so it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell and uh, down there in description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching now i will start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using for this video are bugle beads these are seven millimeters and these are two millimeters you could find them in any bidding store and i have links down there in description where you could find them and here i use 11 o seed beads in two colors chameleon color and silver color and this is a clasp here and a jump ring this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters you could use fire line for this work because sometimes the bugle beads could cut uh, other type of threads but now I will do this with uh, monofilament this is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory but I use them to go through the difficult beads these are flat nose pliers and now I'm going to take comfortable length of thread on my needle and I'll be back okay guys and now I'm going to start by picking up a small bugle bead uh, chameleon 11 o bugle beat 11 o bugle beat 11 o bugle beat and 11 o okay and now guys this is what i have on my needle and i'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread just like this and here i'm going to make a knot and i'm making a knot by going twice here pulling then i will make one more knot and now guys this is what i have and i will make here an additional thread pad okay i'm going through the bugle bead like this then i skip this angle bead here that is the 11 o and I go directly through the bugle and I make this because I want those beads to pop up a little bit okay then again I skip the 11 o and I go through the bugle bead like this and I pull then again skip the 11 o go through the bugle bead pull tight and again when I pull tight this is what I have I have a really nice shape if you don't do this step your shape might start moving around and not look so good okay then I'm exiting out of this 11 o and what I need to take are three silver 11 seed beads, okay? And what I do is that I go back in circle through this bead, okay? I'm exiting out of it and I'm going back in circle through it. Now I have this, this is called right angle weave. Four beads in a cross, okay? Now I'm going through the bugle and through the next 11 -0. And again, I take three silver beads, okay, three of them, and I go back in circle through this 11 o like this, and then I go through the next bugle, and I'm going to repeat this two more times. OK, 
okay and I will go back here through this 11 now and what I do next is that I go here through this 11 now in this direction okay now I have this and I will go here through this 11 now silver 11 now that's on the edge and now guys what I want to do next is flip my work in this direction and I want to take one of these seven millimeter bugle beads and I want to go through the other 11 now that's sticking out the most. Okay, I have this. Then I'm going to take one more bugle bead and go here through this one, through the next one. One more. Go through the next. one more and go through the last one now i have this and what i want to take are three of these beautiful beads and i'm going back in circle through this 11 now here making another cross but this time i'm using these chameleon beads here then I go through the following bugle bead just like this and I take one bugle and I go back in circle through this bugle here and I have this then I'm going in the following 11 all and I need to take three 11 alls And I go back here through this silver, through the following bugle, take one more bugle bead, go back here, okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay, now I have this. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is an additional thread pad in order to make my work stay in a better shape. Okay, and as I'm exiting from this bugle bead in this direction, what I'm going to do is that I will go through this bugle. Okay, like this. Now I'm exiting out of this bugle that's on the outside. And I'm going to flip my work because it's easier for me to go counterclockwise as I'm right-handed, okay? And I'm going here through the first 11 now, then through the second and through the third and through the outside bugle. Okay, this is what I have. I have this. Then I go again through the outside bugle bead through the next two, bu uh, two seed beads, okay, I'm just going around the edges and I'm connecting the last three beads that I added with the outside edge of my work to make it stay in a better shape and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, now I'm here and all of my beads are connected. Um, and uh, there is a slight bend to this work. It's uh, a little bit bended to this side, okay? And I like this effect. Now I'm exiting out of this seed bead here. And what I wanna do next is attach my clasp. 
okay and as i'm exiting from this 11 ounce seed bead here what i'm going to take are two 11 ounce then i'm going to take my clasp okay my clasp and then again two 11 ounce okay this is what i have on my needle 11 ounce clasp 11 ounce and i'm going back in circle through this seed bead here and now it's time to reinforce okay okay guys now i have this the beginning of my bracelet is ready and in my next step i will go here through some beads in this direction at the edge and i want to reach the other part here where i'm going to start my next element now guys i'm starting my next element by picking up one dark 11-0 one silver and one dark okay this is what i have on my needle and i'm going back in circle through this bead here okay like this then i go here through the dark and through this 11 -0. okay and here what i need is just the opposite one silver one dark one silver okay this is what i have and i go back in circle okay now i have this then i will go through the silver and through the dark bead okay chameleon bead okay now guys what i want to take is a uh, this bugle bead the smaller bugle bead that's two millimeters and a dark bead and a bugle and a dark bead and a bugle and a dark bead and a bugle and now i have four dark beads uh, three dark beads and four bugles on my needle and i'm using this seed bead as the fourth one and what I did here is the center of my work, the same like I did it here. So now I will do the same additional step. I'm going here through this bugle. And I'm skipping this one at the edge. Then through the following, skip the one at the edge. Then through the following, and skip this one here go here and in this way i'm skipping all the bits at the edge and i make them pop up in this way okay now i will continue this the same way i need to add here three silver bits from here you could imagine that you just did this part and you're repeating the first element okay like this and i will do this two more times Okay, now I have this and I will go through these two beads in this direction and I'm going to take one bugle bead and I go here through the silver then again one bugle go through the next silver that's sticking out the most And I'm going to do this two more times. OK, 
Okay, now I have this. And I'm going to take here three 11s and I'm going back in circle through this silver one. I'm adding the dark ones. Then I go in the bugle bead and I take one bugle and I go back here. This, then I go through the following silver, take three, go back. And this is absolutely the same thing that I did in my previous element. And I will continue this until the end of this row. Pay attention that here at the angle I skip adding beads because they're already there. Okay, now I need one more bugle bead here. And I will do I'm sorry I went too far here. Okay, now this is what I have and I will do the additional step that I did at the end in my other element, okay? I'm going back through this bugle like this. Then I go through these three beads here at the angle. Of my cross. Okay, just like this. Going here. Now I have my second element ready. And my thread is over, that is why I will make a knot and cut it. Okay, and I will find a place to make a knot, let's say here, and I make a loop and I go twice through this loop I've made. And then I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from, and I pull. And then what I want to do is go through my following seed bead, and you could repeat this knot several more times. But when you are ready, go through uh, the following seed bead and then cut your thread and never cut next to a knot. Okay, now I will show you how to add more thread and continue with your work. Yes, and because it will be really difficult to make the whole bracelet with just one thread, I prefer to add more thread, okay? And I'm doing this by going here through this bead like this with the new thread you see. And here, what I do is that I make a loop and go once and then go second time through this loop I've made and I pull. And then I go in the following beat. And I want to exit here at the edge. And now guys, I show you from here on how I'm making another element and you already know. If you forgot how I did it, just rewind this video up to here and repeat this process. Repeat it several more times and when I'm ready, when I'm about to finish my bracelet, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and when I continued beading and adding more and more thread and more and more elements, this is what I have. Now I have seven elements, you could do less or more depending on your wrist. And here 
I'm exiting out of this bead and what I want to take are five seed beads. Okay, I have my five here. And I will take my jump ring and I will go back in circle through the jump ring. Now I will make a reinforcement. Okay, uh, do three or two or three reinforcements, and when you're ready, make a knot and cut your thread. Okay, guys, and now my bugle beads bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done, and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and down there in description i have a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me